NASA has released the first images taken by the James Webb Space Telescope. The pictures are unlike anything we've ever seen before. After years of anticipation and countless astronomical advancements, the James Webb Space Telescope has made a discovery that stands as one of the most astonishing in the history of observational cosmology. It has finally revealed what lies at the very edge of the observable universe, pushing the boundaries of human understanding deeper into the cosmic unknown. With its revolutionary infrared imaging capabilities and unprecedented sensitivity, Webb peered farther than any telescope before it, capturing light that has traveled for over 13.6 billion years, nearly to the very beginning of time itself. What it found challenges long-held assumptions and redefines what astronomers thought was possible. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The edge of the observable universe is not a wall or a physical boundary, but rather a limit set by the speed of light and the age of the universe. Since the universe is about 13.8 billion years old, we can only see objects whose light has had time to reach us since the Big Bang. Because of cosmic expansion, the edge currently lies around 46.5 billion light years away. For decades, this horizon has remained shrouded in mystery, populated only by faint signatures of primordial galaxies, elusive fluctuations in the cosmic microwave background, and theoretical conjectures. Now, the James Webb Space Telescope has pierced that curtain, revealing cosmic structures and patterns of matter that date back to a time when the universe was less than 200 million years old. What Webb detected was not merely another faint galaxy or a distant quasar, but a complex region of space that appears to contain a dense, chaotic web of matter and energy unlike anything previously seen. These regions, now termed protostructures by cosmologists, are believed to be the seeds from which galaxies, clusters, and eventually the vast cosmic web form. Their arrangement defies earlier models that predicted a smoother, more homogeneous distribution of matter in the early universe. Instead, Webb's data indicates that massive star-forming regions, black hole activity, and turbulent gas dynamics were already shaping the universe's architecture at a much earlier time than previously thought. The telescope's near-infrared camera, NIRCAM, and mid-infrared instrument Mirai were instrumental in capturing this information. By combining their data, researchers were able to isolate specific wavelengths that correspond to molecular signatures from the earliest stars and galaxies. These signals, heavily redshifted due to the expansion of space, required the web's extreme sensitivity to even detect. And detect them it did. Several patches of sky revealed compact but bright objects whose light had been traveling nearly since the birth of the cosmos. The spectral data confirmed their ancient origin and, more importantly, revealed chemical fingerprints that point to a surprisingly rapid process of star formation and elemental fusion. In one of the most striking observations, Webb identified what appears to be a massive galaxy in the making, forming only 180 million years after the Big Bang. This is radically earlier than previous estimates, which suggested that the first galaxies would take at least 400-500 million years to form. Even more startling was the discovery of elements heavier than helium in the gas clouds surrounding this proto-galaxy. This implies that multiple generations of stars had already lived and died by this point, enriching the surrounding medium with metals in what would have been an incredibly fast sequence of stellar birth and death cycles. The presence of such metals indicates an unexpectedly advanced level of cosmic evolution at a time when the universe was still in its infancy. These observations have enormous implications for the current cosmological model. For decades, the Lambda Cold Dark Matter LCDM model has served as the backbone of cosmological theory, describing a universe dominated by dark energy and dark matter, with ordinary matter making up only a small fraction. But Webb's discovery suggests that star formation and galaxy evolution occurred more quickly and perhaps more chaotically than this model accounts for. It raises questions about the nature of dark matter, the timing of reionization, and even the very parameters used to define cosmic inflation. Webb also uncovered evidence of large-scale structure formation, clumps of matter gravitationally binding together at a time when such formations were thought to be impossible. These structures are the precursors to galactic filaments and voids, the massive framework upon which galaxies later align. Their early appearance suggests that the gravitational dynamics of the young universe were far more intense and efficient than previously believed. The implication is that dark matter may have clumped together sooner, or that the mechanisms of gravity operated differently in the early universe, potentially hinting at new physics beyond general relativity. 
Further complicating the picture is the telescope's detection of infrared radiation from what seems to be the earliest quasars, massive black holes actively accreting material, within 300 million years after the Big Bang. The formation of such massive black holes at this early stage contradicts current understanding of how they grow. Typically, black holes need millions of years of accretion to reach supermassive status, yet here they are burning brightly at the dawn of time. This suggests that either black holes form directly from the collapse of massive gas clouds, bypassing stellar birth, or that unknown processes allowed them to grow exponentially faster than expected. Perhaps most astonishing is what Webb saw beyond even these ancient galaxies, an ambient diffuse glow of infrared radiation with no identifiable source. This cosmic infrared background may represent the integrated light of the very first stars, Population 3 stars, whose existence has long been theorized but never directly confirmed. These stars, made almost entirely of hydrogen and helium, would have been enormous, short-lived, and incredibly luminous. If what Webb saw is indeed their combined signature, then we are finally catching a glimpse of the first lights to pierce the cosmic darkness after the Big Bang. This glow also contains slight anisotropies, tiny variations in brightness and density that align with theoretical predictions about quantum fluctuations stretched to cosmic scales during inflation. These ripples, frozen into the fabric of space-time, would have seeded all later structure. To see their influence reflected in the cosmic infrared background is a breathtaking validation of inflation theory and a window into processes that occurred a trillionth of a second after the Big Bang. Beyond the scientific revelations, Webb's findings evoke a deep philosophical awe. The edge of the observable universe is not merely a boundary in space, but a boundary in time. What we are seeing is not just distance, but antiquity a direct image of the past, a snapshot of a cosmos still forming its first thoughts. It reminds us that the universe is not static, but dynamic and alive with processes that have been unfolding for billions of years. Webb has turned the cosmos into a time machine, revealing chapters of the universe's story that were once sealed beyond the reach of human instruments. The clarity and depth of Webb's vision also open up new questions. If the universe was already so complex at such an early time, what might lie just beyond the observable limit? Are there even older structures whose light has yet to reach us, or perhaps never will? Is the observable universe just a small bubble in a much larger, perhaps infinite, cosmic sea? These questions, while not answerable by Webb alone, are now sharpened into focus by the data it provides. The edge of the observable universe, as revealed by Webb, is not a simple curtain, but a turbulent frontier teeming with activity, growth, and profound transformations. It is a region where the raw forces of nature sculpted the universe's earliest architecture in a blaze of energy and chaos. This discovery fundamentally alters the narrative of cosmic evolution, shifting the focus from a slow, gradual emergence of complexity to a rapid, almost explosive onset of galactic and stellar activity. Astronomers are now re-examining early universe simulations in light of this new evidence. Many of the models must be revised to account for earlier star formation, quicker metal enrichment, and the surprise presence of supermassive black holes. New physics may be required, perhaps modifications to the behavior of dark matter, or refinements to inflationary theory. In any case, the standard cosmological timeline is being stretched and twisted by these discoveries, compelling a new era of theoretical innovation. There is also the tantalizing possibility that the Webb Telescope's observations may eventually brush against the concept of a multiverse. If variations in early structure formation can be detected and correlated with cosmic inflation models, some physicists believe this could provide indirect evidence that our universe is just one of many. The irregularities in the cosmic infrared background might not be random noise, but instead subtle fingerprints of other bubble universes interacting with our own in the earliest instance of existence. Even without such exotic conclusions, the implications of seeing so far back are profound. It transforms our understanding of how quickly the universe became structured and how early complexity arose. The images captured by Webb are not just data points, they are relics, messages from an era where space and time themselves were still cooling into form. The light from these ancient objects, having traveled billions of years across the cosmos, has arrived at Earth only now illuminating not just distant galaxies, but the depths of our own curiosity. 
Looking at the images and data from Webb, it's impossible not to feel the vertigo of scale. We are peering across epochs, tracing the universe back to a time before Earth existed, before the sun was born, before atoms as we know them even coalesced into stable forms. And yet from that ancient chaos, the seeds of everything we now know, planets, stars, life, were already being sown. This profound connection between the very old and the very new underscores the unity of the cosmos across time and space. Webb's journey to the edge of the observable universe marks not a conclusion, but a beginning. With each observation, it extends the horizon of what is knowable, lifting the veil on the earliest epochs and hinting at mysteries that remain just out of reach. The edge, as it turns out, is not a limit. It's a lens focused on the most ancient and fundamental truths of existence. And now that we can see it, everything changes. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on what James Webb found at the universe's edge? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.